Hey guys, thanks for joining me. This is Angie at Chicken Scratch. This is the project we're making today, and it's a gift card holder. It opens up like this, and then this is where the gift card goes, so it slides in just like that. Okay, so I did make this on a live video, and the sound got all wonky, so I'm going to remake the project using some different supplies, okay? We're still using the same stamps, which is the Awesome Otters. It will be available on January 4th of 2022. Okay, so here's the supplies we're gonna use this time. Misty Moonlight that measures three and a half by 10 and three quarters, and another piece that measures one and a quarter by eight. We've got some basic white for our stamping. We have a pool party scallop circle and a granny apple green scallop circle. We're still using the same pack of paper, which is the Sunshine and Rainbows. This is also gonna be available on January 4th. And these, both of these pieces measure three and a quarter by three, okay? So let's go ahead and stamp first. Slide that out of the way. We'll just leave one of these in the camera. And this is my basic white. And here is my otter. Okay. And then over here on the side, I'm gonna stamp the greeting. We're going to color the otter with crumb cake and uh, pool party. So I'm gonna start with the pool party. Yeah, so like I was saying, I made this project on a live uh, video and my sound didn't work for a period and then it did work, but then when the video loaded later, it didn't work. So, don't know what happened. Crumb cake. So the Awesome Otter stamp set is going to be a um, free item with a $50 order during celebration. And celebration uh, this coming year, 2022, is going to be in January and February. Two of my most favorites at the moment, of course, are the Sunshine and Rainbows paper that we're using and the Awesome Otters. In fact, I have a card class coming up using both of those. Okay, now he's done. Well, let's give his nose some color. Now we're gonna cut the otter out with our layering circles dies. And then we're gonna cut the greeting out with the, <laughs> I always forget the name of it, Tasteful Touches. Okay, here's my mini stamp and cut and emboss machine. And I'm gonna lay a one plate and a two plate. And then I'm gonna place this on here. I can see that my paper is a little big. Uh-oh, oh well, it'll be okay. It was kind of going over the side. So there's the otter. And then now we want to do the greeting. And I'm just going to make this smaller to make it easier on myself. Okay, so we're going to set our images aside and then we're going to make the gift card holder. So I'm going to take this misty moonlight piece. I'm going to score this at three and a quarter and seven and a half. So three and a quarter and seven and a half. Okay, fold. I'm going to burnish with my bone folder. 
Now I'm gonna take some liquid glue. This is gonna fold up like that. That's gonna fold down. And so we're just gonna put a thin line of liquid glue on each side. This is where our gift card is gonna go. And fold this over. Just gonna hold that for a second. Now we're gonna add our designer series paper. So we'll flip that over. Add your liquid glue. And then we're gonna add it to this one as well, like that. Okay, now for the belly band. We're gonna lay this flat, just like that. Center this, and then fold this over. And then I like to remove it and then burnish it with the bone folder. And then again, you're gonna fold this side over. Just make sure you don't get it too tight because you want to be able to slide that belly band off. Okay, so I'm gonna put that back on there now. And then I'm just gonna add some adhesives. This time I'm gonna use my uh, Stampin' Seal Plus. Front row. <laughs> I got it on my paper there. Okay. Now, make sure it slides, and it does. Okay, bring that up. Now let's assemble our layers, so we're gonna add liquid glue to this one and add it to the pool party. And then we're gonna add this one to the granny apple green. The greeting's gonna get added right in the middle with a mini glue dot. Now we're gonna add this right on top and I'm just gonna put it, um, actually I'm gonna put liquid glue I was gonna say I was gonna pop it up, but nope, I didn't. And then we're gonna add our ribbon and our embellishments, and then we will be done. So, just gonna tie a bow with the crinkled seam binding. There's that. And then our embellishments are a new embellishment, also in the new catalog that goes live in January. These are the iridescent rhinestones. And I'm just gonna add three of these. Okay, I'm gonna add this ribbon now. So I'm just gonna make it a little bit smaller. And then we're gonna add it with a mini glue dot. And we were talking about this the other night. Um, these backwards glue dots, what I like to do is place my ribbon on top of the glue dot and then pick it up with my take your pick tool <laughs> and then attach it to my project <laughs> like that. Okay, so what do you think? Which one do you like best? I actually made another one too, originally. So we have a Christmas version but, oh, I really like these. Okay, so don't forget to head over to my website and uh, download and print your free printable. It has all the measurements and cute pictures and the supply list. Have a great day.